Welcome everyone to another update from 144 Analytics based on the Fibonacci retracements where we believe they are the underlying structure of all markets. Um, and we hope through our analysis here and our examples gets you to believe the same thing. First, we're going to start out with this year's range, and then we'll move up to the weekly chart where we show the importance of knowing not only the short-term levels, but what the longer-term levels are when we're just using Fibonacci retracements alone. So on the break from the high for the year back in January, each one of the attempted rallies here was only able to go back to either 38% or fall a little short of it. Uh, in this case here, again, it was 26, 23.6%. And then down here, where once again, this rally here, 23.6% again. And then we finally make the low for the year on um, the 23rd of March. We'll get into more why and how important this low is and why it was what it was um, when we get to the weekly chart. But still, taking this most direct move down here, we can see that now the market has come all the way up to 38% of the entire break here. And what should follow is any time that you hit 23% or 38%, you should go on to make those new lows because that's what um, the 38% rule and 23.6 rule contends that uh, in order to keep that trend intact, you have to go make those new lows. And when you do not do that, uh, it tells you that the trend is changing, number one. Number two, it has to take out 38%. Once that's done, then based on that same rule of 38.2, where you can find all of these rules and guidelines on the uh, 144 Analytics website, um, if, if I'm moving too fast here. So first of all, we got the 38%. This break here, as you can see, I mean, should have gone to new lows, and yet all it, it couldn't even get to 38% back of the current rally which told you something's changing here. And once they did take out 38%, again, based on the 38.2% rule, the next target becomes 61.8. That, as you can see, was hit in our target up here on uh, in April 29th. But before then, uh, this is one of the areas, these three yellow elliptical uh, areas here, or eclipses, uh, We'll show you, we'll get back to that on the weekly chart as to why the importance of those levels were. So again, the next break here was only able to go 23%, telling you the trend is changing. But we kind of knew that already because it took 38 out and then went up here, came back down. Now it's starting to hold the levels underneath. Now, again, this takes us up to 61.8. And here's something that you have to watch out for. They can go through these levels. You're going to see, in, in this case, a lot of these are right to the, right to the point. Uh, but a lot of times you're going to get the areas where they fly through it, but it's the closes that matter. Ideally, if it's going to violate something, we'd want to see not only one close above it, but the second close also be higher in the case if it's going up above that other high so that you get two confirming closes up above a key area to say that it's been violated. Now, in this case, we held the 61.8, not straight out. It went quite a bit through it, but the close is what matters. And the idea of what comes from those areas is also what's important because the 61.8 rule stipulates that any time it holds, you should look for 61.8 the other way. Now, this is exactly what happened here. So this break, once they closed back under 61.8, took it right to 61.8 of this move. Okay, so that's what we were looking for. But here's a note. It, 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 just because we say it should go there, we still have to watch all of the retracements 
on the way down uh, to that target. So any of these targets are, are just ideally targets, and you'll see it happen a lot. But you also have to keep monitoring how weak or how strong the market is by the current direction and what kind of levels it's, it's holding or not. So in this case, 61.8 took us right to 61.8. Well, same rule should send us to 61.8 back up. And that's exactly what it did here. Now, the break from there should have sent us 61.8 again. Now, this can happen a lot. And you can go back in our JPM example in one of our videos where it stayed in between the 61.8 for almost a year, back and forth between the 61.8s. And that's what that can cause. 23 and 38 always keep a trend alive. 61.8 and 78.6 can always put you into a bigger trading range. So just remember that. So now here's the thing, 61.8, where did this market retrace? It goes right to 38. That was all it could break, okay? So now that's telling you the trend's going to resume by holding 38%. New highs for this move, and then where does it go? But up to 78.6. We'll find out why this area is more important on the weekly than just 78.6. So as we said, 78.6 could send you all the way to 78.6 the other way, but we're watching all the retracements. In this case, again, right back to 38% of this entire move right here. Okay, so this is just telling you we should be going for new highs and that... Um, uh, you know, it had this area not held, it would have then told us we're looking for 61.82, but also knowing that 78 sending us lower. But it didn't. It held here, and that's what's important. And so this should have sent us to new highs, which it did. Okay? No not any reason for this high, at least on this chart, but we we're going to constantly monitor the setbacks. Now, this level here of 23.6 was 23.6 back to this March low. Now they held here and then, and this is where, you know, you want to know all the retracements from all the different levels that are key. This low stands out, this low stands out. Um, you know, so you want to at least know where the, the levels are from these, the retracements are from these levels. But always remember, it's the biggest move that matters. And in this case, 23% from here is what they held above. You could see that uh, maybe a close under it here. Um, but, you know, you, then you put in 38% to this low was right here. So between this area, the market held very well again. Again, looking for new highs for the move. Now, this indeed did happen and uh, took us up to this point here, which we're going to find out on the weekly chart here I'm going to bring up. But uh, just so you know that even in all of these moves, as you can see, if we broke this thing down into an hourly chart, a 10-minute chart, whatever, you're just going to see the pullbacks and the any of the retracements just tend to always go right to these levels. And it's always important to know them. More so on the extreme scale to know what the real potential is of something. And then also um, even shorter term, depending on your time frame that you like to trade with. Now we're going to take a look at the, uh, the weekly chart here. And this one goes back to the all-time high. So uh, just as you can see here, this low from the all-time high was 38 back to the 2009 low. And the reason here, we had one close under this. This was a 61.8 to the 2009 low. Um, that was our low in March of this year. Now, we could just go back on and on with you know these things. It's just going to keep happening, this 38.2, 61.8, where these markets retrace to, what you're looking for from those levels. So now I'm just going to expand this out a little bit so we can just watch what's here. And um, 
So again, you can see here 61.8. This was the March, the year's low that we were just talking about coming up from. The first yellow area that we talked about and why that was important was that was 23% back to the all-time high. And that was the break that could only go 38 back, telling you this market is very is, is getting stronger. So we know this move in here was 61.8, 61.8 of the year's range in here. So now the other, the secondary yellow uh, eclipse we had here was exactly 38% back to the all-time high. Now again, if the market's really negative and it stays under 38%, now we're talking the major trend, uh, we should have gone for a new low from 38%. But as always, we keep telling you, that 38% or we have to watch all the retracements on the way back down. And in this case, you saw it, we showed you on the chart that it was 38% exactly, you know, right back here. We just took this from here to here. We just held 38%. So this 38 could only get you to 38 of a smaller move. And when that happens, it's telling you the market is, is, is more dynamic than you may think because 38% should have sent us to a new low from a major area, and it didn't. So now the next thing is, as we said, we want to know from this high here was also very key on when we look at, you know, like what, what stands out here from the all-time high. This high, the all-time high, this one. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious when you look at a chart. You don't want to go back to anything that isn't higher than this high. Uh, you can't go to a lower high once it's been taken out. And then, then this was the high for the year that we were dealing with. So these three highs working off of that. So now we come back out here and we look at what this eclipse was, the third one that we had on there, and where we currently are working from. It was 61.8 back to that high. Now, just because, you know, we have taken 38 out. So again, we tell you that when 38% comes out, the next target becomes 61.8. But again, we're not going to, we're going to look at all of the retracements. Now that's our long-term projection is that we should go up to 204 as long as we're staying above this 38% that we are right here, this 168 level, let's call it. Um, and you see that we did hit 61.8. So this has the potential to send this back down to 61.8 the other way, following the 61.8 rule. Now, so this is where we're at. We Right now, you could look for this market, if it takes out 168, because that'll put it back under 138, knowing we hit 61.8, and to look for that on the downside. But what we will do is watch every retracement on the way back from here. So we'll look at 38 uh, percent. 23 isn't in on this one right now, but we will watch that as well right in here. So you have to run your numbers from this current high down to the year's low and watch if they start holding 23 percent obviously just as we showed you in this run up here everything remains very positive and um, but and and if so and once we can take out this 179 area and close above it we know that the target from this 38 being taken out is up here at 61.8. Uh, we'd like you to just keep an eye on these levels, watch these retracements going back and forth, look at our other videos, look at our examples on the website uh, to give you better understanding. This, this plays out in every market, every market, no exceptions. Um, the same kind of action is happening, just following a few simple rules. The guidelines are very simple. The, you know, the secondary plays off of things when they get violated, gets a little bit more uh, in-depth, but still the, the, the rules and the guidelines are uh, extremely simple, 
but very dynamic in their actions. As I mean, I hope I just proved to you here to show you just 3M. Uh, you can look back on our other videos. We'll be doing more videos. And also we do um, a uh, Fibonacci chart of the week. We post that on barchart.com. And you can see the updates there as long as and also on our 144 Analytics website. Uh, you can see all the updates in all the markets we cover. We cover stocks, futures, um, anything anything that moves and has numbers because that's all it is. It's all numbers and that's how we apply everything. Uh, we also, along with this method, use GAN squares and again, purely based on price. And uh, we hope you'll take a look, keep watching our videos, subscribe, and until next time, take care.